The Prince of Wales is the patron of the Landmark Trust and we are incredibly lucky to have his support for this sort of project but I think Cluin Kellen in particular here in Wales and a building that's so fragile is something that he's taken a particular interest in and to have his endorsement is priceless. The floor is still there and there's a wonderful door here which you'll see. Cluin Kellen is a grade one listed building which is pretty outstandingly special anyway and it is an incredibly rare survivor of a late medieval manor house of the sort that so seldom survives unaltered and in this case it does and it's um, fragile but all there. Take the Carl family, yes. So if I can introduce you to the Trevor Carl, his brother Lyndon, here we are, and Rosemary who were born Oh, fantastic, yeah, very nice, really nice man, yeah. So uh, you feel, feel proud of now of your, of your old house? Yes. <laughs> I'm pleased therefore to announce that HLF has awarded the Landmark Trust a grant initially of £31,500 so that they can develop proposals for a major redevelopment project here at Llwyn Kellyn with a view to making a further application for £2.5 million in due, co due course. <laughs> well, I think what's extraordinary about it is the fact that it has been continuously inhabited for such a long period of time and when you see it now you can see evidence of all those different periods of, of time and you know quite evident the oldest period as well um, and what's exciting is that not very much is known either about uh, the origins of the house and so it's going to be a journey of discovery as uh, you know landmarks specialists and cons conservationists and historians get to peel back the layers and find out more about uh, what the house was it's evident that it was a high status house from its location and from certain architectural features and um, I just can't wait to, to discover what theories are hatched uh, that could uh, associate it with, with local dignitaries or with Clanton Abbey or whatever it may be.